it's still something even to this day like i i have to to walk through and walk with this this thing that is instilled in you from a very young age that anything that you, you have to sort of like uh raise up to whatever religious doctrine uh your mm. parents uh i engaging in and mm. everything else is is not it, it, it's kind of like it's uh they would probably use terms like it's evil right yes. <laughs> uh so so you'd um cuz I, I was raised christian so the, mm. the whole notion was and and the funny thing is right like growing up back in uganda you have all you have all these other forms of religious engagement mm. happening right like so you have the religious uh mm. then you have what is going to be categorized as witchcraft right all the yeah. traditional healers all the herbalists and mm. you have all these in contention now mm. for most like the other ones that we taint as witchcraft or as evil uh, you know the habo uh, uh, uh practitioners why you, so the question comes like why are they still prevalent in this modern age mm. if they're not relevant and i mm. feel like the answer to that is oh they are really relevant it's just the people who go to this religious enterprise and then they're not getting the healing through prayer or whatever they'll go like okay cool i still need to go see my my herbalist but we're not going to talk about that because we have to do it in secret uh, <laughs> which is the shame you you're pointing out you know the that hmm. shame of it's uncool it's not something i can talk about i'm not going to share it so it's it's something we live with but we mm-hmm. don't talk about because it's not cool enough to bring yeah. out into the the modern sphere so we sort of yeah. like do this pretend religion and then um go back to do our things but the, the most ironic moments yeah. have always been uh the weddings right like <laughs> it's so hilarious because uh even for myself cuz like I got married the same way and at the time it was so mind boggling so annoying so frustrating it's like how dare they make me do these things because you have yeah. to do uh just sort of like expound on that so you have to do uh you have to go meet the parents right like if you're from if you're from the same cultural groups like i, I was fortunate like the uh, my wife is from a very close cultural group as i am and so mm-hmm. you know you have to go meet the parents then you know you have to meet the aunties and they have mm. to vet you and assess you and then the they have like their cultural questions that they'll be asking sort of like about your lineage trying to uh assess out your 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 blood lineage so that you know there's they they're minimizing intermarriage and for the longest while we're things like why is this even a big deal right like why is the whole lineage thing a big deal until later you go to biology and they tell you yeah people of the same blood group if you know like if you if you have the same ancestry and mm. you mix that up the children that come out of that right. will have uh, multiple mutations <laughs> and you don't want that because naturally nature yeah. wants to make difference so right. you need to be seeking you need to facilitate you need to engage with it in a way that facilitates more difference otherwise if you it's it's the whole basis of like why incest is wrong it's it yes. is wrong but mm. it's also biologically wrong it's like it's lo- it's wrong on so many levels that bad things happen if you do that mm. uh, and and so traditionally like the, these people had this wisdom they knew about this and so they 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 put in place all these protocols all these processes to manage some of these things and yes. so you know you you do all this and then you know you meet the aunties then you have to go then start preparing you know the the dowry to like really you know show your commitment right and then <laughs> then you'll have the 
the the introduction ceremony and it's it is how it is right you know different cultures have different ways of doing it and they always have different um you'd say traditions and ceremonies that uh and practices that they're doing in between there there's a whole emphasis about the beer the local the locally traditionally made beer because you know there's all these foods you have to try it's like it's a big yeah. ritual right yeah. like a very big ritual of commitment but then after you've done all this uh then you have to go do a church wedding or a mosque <laughs> wedding because now you also have to be more than because you know it's not gonna be sanctified if you don't do that uh, don't. so you have to yes yeah, it's kind of like you have to get married three times just to mm-hmm. be married once <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and when you explain it to people here like you know in, in the west they go like what do you mean it's like you know i met my partner we went down to the court and that's it and then like, you, 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 had, you had they had their wedding ceremony that uh that, that they were yeah it, it's so it's so yeah, interesting with 100 guests <laughs> or yeah. 50 <laughs> yeah or sometimes just family right <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's, it's it's quite interesting. I think from that you can also see how uh, we, you know, how our ancestors um, held on to their traditions, um, even while embracing a new tradition. 